Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Graph Center brought to you by Rocky Biochem. In today's session, I'm going to share my PhD interview experience. This is going to be a very fun session. In my previous videos, I gave a gist about how to prepare for your PhD interview. I have also done a video about some of the questions that you should expect in your interview. But in this session, I am going to share my personal experience. So my interview was scheduled um, around 3 p.m. and where I was staying, the network there wasn't that stable. So I decided to move to another place to have the interview. So I moved to my sister's place to have the interview. The interview was scheduled at 4 p.m. but around 1 p.m. I created a Zoom link and then invited my friends to have a trial session with them. So I had the interview with my friends from 1 p.m. all the way to around 2 p.m. and then 2.30. But I just told them to let me rest. Like I told them that the interview trial sessions are enough. So they should just allow me to continue with um, my personal preparation. So I kept preparing myself though before the interview day i read a lot about the professor like i read a lot about the department that I'm, i was I, I mean i was applying to as well as the professor that i was interested in his research i really read a lot about the professor i read some of the papers that he published and then i sat down to write my personal research interest and how it aligns with what the professor there is doing so after while preparation around 3:55 p sorry around 2:55 p.m. I said my interview was 3 p.m. So around 2:55 p.m. my laptop just froze. I don't know what happened that day. The laptop just froze. And I tried to restart the I mean to, to restart the machine. So after restarting the machine, it was already 3 p.m. And then when I tried logging in, immediately the Zoom link, like I click on the Zoom link and then it's open. I realized that the entire faculty members were sitting in a room. So they were about, was it 11 professors? I think 11 professors, they were sitting in a room that very day. In fact, I, I nearly thought, like I nearly panicked because in the first place I was late. And I wasn't expecting such a number of professors sitting there. I was expecting maybe three or maybe a maximum of five professors but after logging in and then realizing that they are more i nearly started panicking but i the composure started, started coming like i just felt i just started composing myself like i realized that no today is a do it or die affair i have so far as i've been shortlisted for this program i am accepted so they started by introducing themselves the professors introduced themselves one by one and then they told me that it's nice to have me for today's session and the first question that i had was why do you want to join us like they they zoomed me up because i was expecting that maybe they will ask me to tell to tell them about myself like that is the question that normally in many interviews they ask the first question that they normally ask is that tell us about yourself so me i was expecting something like that but after logging in and then the first question i was true on me was why do you want to join us i just calmed down my nerves and then um i talked about my career goals i let them know that i am very interested in exploring um allergies and then also immune disorders i talk about my interest in studying mast cells their degranulation and then how that can be inhibited as a potent therapeutic target for allergic diseases and then also immune disorders and also how to boost the release of um, mediators that facilitate physiological activities of mast cells in um, fighting infection. So I tried to talk about my interest and then I aligned it to one professor in the school. And then I ended by saying that when I consider my research interest and then what the professors are doing, I believe that by getting the chance to learn under his supervision, I will receive the in-depth knowledge and then the advanced training that will help me pursue my research and then career goals. I answered this question very shortly. Like I didn't speak much. I just went straight to the point. Talk about my personal research experience. Oh, sorry, talk about my personal career goals and then align it with what the like align it with the research focus of the department. Specifically, what one particular professor is doing and how the training that I will gain from him will prepare me for my research and then future career goals. So when I was answering that question, I think um, I was a bit. I mean, afraid like I the way I was speaking, I felt like I was stammering a bit because I wasn't I wasn't expecting that question. So I just tried to answer that question. And my next question was that tell us about your research interest. Then I was like, Hallelujah! Tell me about your research interest. Then the floor is mine. 
So I started with my internships. I talk about my internships, my um, undergraduate research work, and then the research that I was doing at my place of um, national service. Like I was working as a um, research assistant in one lab as, uh, during my national service. So I talk about the research that I was doing there. I, in fact, I spent more than ten minutes just talk about my, about my research. And after answering them, like after talking about that question, they asked me that, are you familiar with any laboratory technique? And I said, yes. So I talked about um, the technique that I was familiar with. I talked about PCR, I talked about DNA extraction, a lot, most of the molecular biology techniques. I just made mention of them that I am very familiar with them and they were found on my CV as well. So when I finished talking about the molecular biology techniques, one of the professors asked me, so you said you are familiar with PCR, right? And I said, yes. So he said, so if you are familiar with PCR, can you tell me how PCR works? Then I gave a very snappy lecture there. I started by talking about the general, I mean, um, mechanism of PCR. Like, I, I talk about everything. I talk about the constituents, the DNA template that you need, your, pla uh, your, your, your primers. I talk about the tag polymerase, everything that you need to set up a PCR reaction and then how the reaction occurs, as well as the goal for pe uh, performing PCR. Why do you perform P PCR? I just talk about everything. That is why in my previous video, I said that for every single scale that you have stated on your CV, make sure that you are very familiar with it. If you are not familiar with a particular scale, or if you, or if you can't explain a particular scale, don't mention it. When they ask you to talk about the scale that you are familiar with, don't mention any scale. If you know yourself that you are not familiar that don't it, like I won't even encourage you to make a mention of that skill during the interview because in case you mention it and then they ask him to explain how it works and you fail to do so you'll be in trouble so just make sure that whatever skill that you make mention of you are familiar with it and then after that they asked me that um, am I okay with working with animal models and I said yes and another question was that um, aside that professor that I'm interested in his work, am I interested in working with any other professor? And I said yes, and I made mention of two other professors, and then I talk about how their research also aligns with my research that I am preparing for. And then after that, I think the next question was, do you have any question for us? Don't say no. When they ask you that, do you have any question for us? Don't say no. I said yes, I have a question for you. So my question was that, what is what is your plan for me as a graduate student? I just asked that question. And then I think four of the professors answered me that, well, their goal is to train me. When I join them, they will make me, um, they, they will give me, um, I mean, advanced training. And then they will also um, help me think critically as a graduate student. That is one question. One, that, that's how they answered my question. And I, I remember them asking me this question that... Oh, no, no, I remember asking them this question that... What is the ease of collaborating with other labs? I asked about that question and they, were, they made me understand that... Um, it is very easy to move to other labs, to collaborate with them. In case you need a reagent, you can just really move on to move to other labs to collect it. You can feel free to, I mean, move to other labs and then collaborate with them. So it is not difficult to collaborate with other labs. So that was a very snappy question, snappy interview. And after the interview, um, I think I sent emails to the panel mem members, about three of the panel members, to thank them for getting time to interview me for that day. And I think I heard from them about four days time or so. Yeah. So this is how my this is my experience during my PhD interview. I hope this session has been has been such a fun one. See you another time.